Hello and welcome to another FS19 mod review. So this time we're looking at these Case IH2388 Axial Flow Combines. Now these are not on the mod hub, they're off FPM. They look very very nice combines. So we've got the older one here, which is a 1999 one with a standard grain tank and trelly ball tyres. It's got the smaller header with a all seed rape extension. They look nicely detailed. You have to buy the extensions separately, which is good as well, and then attach them. We're going to try all of these out as well. If you come down here and see things are actually attached, which is good. You've got a little GoPro above the uh, hook there. We need to have a look and see if there's any header trailers for these. <clears throat> So we've got a slightly newer 2388 here with the mid-size fixed dump and grain tank. This has got a sunflower header on it. So again, the extension is bought separately, but we can buy the actual header with this type of reel there in the shop as standard, and it's slightly wider. So we'll have a look at the shop fairly early on. Again, nicely detailed. Then we've got the newest one here, which has got the biggest header, same size header as that one actually, but in standard serials configuration. We've got options of beacons on these as well. If we hop into the combine here, see the door opens and closes and then the uh, steering column comes forwards. So nicely detailed inside. Switches are nicely detailed. Seating, decals, etc. This has also got a much bigger ground tank on it. <clears throat> so we've got hitch cam there, spout cam as well, which is very, very nice. And they also come with the option of manual or auto unload, which is even better. <clears throat> So if I just show you what we've got in the shop before we actually have a look at these working. Do things a bit different today. Got it here, 23.88 for 70,000 pounds. So there's our standard one, 7,400 litre grain tank. So that's to do with beacons, so we can see there's one there and one there. If we then do this, got another one sprouts there, still one on the back there. So you can have the sign removed there. You have two without the sign, one with the sign. So you've got a few options there as you can see. So with the beacons and signs. Manual discharge, yes or no. So we've got 2002, 2008 options in there. And that is the uh, drum on the other models it doesn't count on this one so we come here we've got 2388 1999 2002 with a silver or gray one or we changed to black and we've got the 2008 exclusive model there so yes and no to gps and michelin or trelly tires crown tank 7 400 9000 and 10000 so nice combines does have a habit of creeping in the shop as you look at it occasionally or appears to. Header wise we come in here we have the 6.7 meter the sunflower header for the 6.7 the canola header for the 6.7 then have the 6.1 and the two other options for that of the sunflower and canola so we just have a look, see if we have got any separate header trailers. Which doesn't look to... We've got that one there. So there's one for our 6.1. So let's take the older one here <clears throat> first. 
I have trailers in every field. Okay, the combine uh, creeps as you get near it. We have got dynamic hoses and PTO shaft on the front there. <clears throat> so we'll take this up there. They're not the quickest on the road. Well, I said 25k in the shop, but uh, we're doing 32. So we've got to get all the way up this far end here with these. So nice to see some more of these older axle flows in game. It's nice to actually have all the combines again. So someone spent a bit of time doing these. Decals don't disappear as we come round them. We can unfold this one going down the road. This was the nearest field of uh, oil seed rake we had available. Have a look at. So as we've got it in the field now, we can do the usual beacon on the front and back. Indicators. We've got them on the side there as well. And then lighting. Front headlight and side light, front work lights, side and rear work lights. Just spot something up there. Maybe just put the uh, black sock over top of the red one. Try this out. All feeding in nicely. Straw chop animation's good. Dust is good as well on these. Lots of dust. So we'd like to see green dust coming off the canola there. Heading in the cab. Try to see if there's any tank fill indicators on here. Does it appear to be? It makes a change to have a combine like this instead of a class or New Holland. We will check the other ones of these for monitors in cab as well. So I do like these multiple camera options. I think the only other one I've seen that on so far has been the John Deere. Sort of a more of a period tracking trailer there. We could. Something we should be more likely to see at this age. I think this one has got manual unload on it. I know two of them have and one of them hasn't. I'm just trying to remember which one I put what onto.
So press R and it unloads. So all animation on the knife there, and the side knives. And the feed in in there's turns. So let's move across to the sunflower combine. So this one still the same in the cab. Same cameras. Extra beacon. Indicators. I'll put the silver pre-cleaner drum on this one. You see everything's changed in the back there. We have our lights there and there. And there. Which is good. So I do like the fact that you can attach and detach the uh, extensions at your will with these. run this onto the sunflower field we've got yet another tractor and trailer waiting and we'll see how the sunflower header does I must admit I do like this sunflower head over the uh, others we will buy so we have to have the Stark Industries or the uh, Capella ones we actually get the right one on this one get to the right uh, one and see what isn't unfolded at the minute okay. so it's something completely different to the norm there with this header Lacks a bit of animation in the header, I think, there. But good nonetheless. It's always good to see these different types of bits of kit in. Different designs to what we're used to. We'll have to test the uh, newest one last, which can leave a straw swath then. <clears throat> This is the 6.7 header. Straw chop just about gets out to that width. It's an empty out near this trailer. So this header is. Oh, Open itself anyway. I haven't seen any errors in the log for this combine. The errors in there relate to the tractor in front of us at the moment. So we have Outside cab and smoke cam again, which you can't move. So, don't 
do what I just done. There. I've heard you may get a little bit uh, dizzy. So let's just move on to the bigger one now. Or the newest one, I should say. This is the closest one to the yard as well. Use a bit of older F11 on this field to get it to the crop we want. So, should be able to unfold the header, which puts the divider so, which is a nice touch, and unfold the grain tank lids. We've got a uh, black pre-cleaner drum on this one. So it leaves a nice straw swath, a wide straw swath. Got screens in this one. Again, cannot see any form of uh, grain tank indication up there. No problems with how it actually uh, fills or does anything. parts on the side then this is as close as we can zoom into it as well so these are very nicely done these combines dust coming off here as you can see as we're dropping the straw so we'll just test something in a moment you should be able to notice the dust looks a different colour as well so we switch to chopping now We get a lot more dust from the combine. So the sort of levels of dust you'd expect from a combine chopping in wheat straw. <clears throat> well, I've had a lot more than that in the past. See it's feeding in the front there, the uh, intake. Here and we'll drop the straw again. See, there is a lot less dust when you're not uh, chopping. Really nice combine mod. Certainly look 
made this one. Brown tank is filling up okay. This one has got the uh, main rod. Okay, so there's a few texture problems in the grain tank from that angle. So we can see, I think it's got to stay. We're actually not looking in there, it's not a problem. If you look from in the cab, it's not a problem. So if you're looking from above, get around to a point there, you'll see issues in there. <coughs> so not a great one for that very very minor that one because you can't even see it from the outside not something that worry me about using it anyway I suppose we could do one more test with this. That could be something to do with... but it's something to do with the combine. Just particle system errors. So nothing too major with that one. Let's just fire the lights up in the dark. So not bad lights. You can see all right in the cab in the dark. I do like the way it runs a bit then it stops again and carries on. Exactly what the real one would do. with it okay. So all good there. So on that note, that is where we'll leave this mod review. So for now I will say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you again in the next one. Goodbye for now.